No one tells you that memory loss after 65 doesn't feel like forgetting. It feels like fading. You walk into a room and can't remember why. But what really unnerves you is that flicker of hesitation when someone asks about the name of a neighbor you've known for years. It's not just about forgetting appointments or where you left your glasses. It's the quiet erosion of confidence. The sense that your mind, once sharp, clear, reliable, is starting to betray you. Most people don't realize that this isn't just aging. It's a cocktail of lifestyle, inflammation, and unaddressed stress. You may not know that chronic sleep disruption, even just waking up multiple times a night, slowly strips your brain of its ability to consolidate memories. Your hippocampus, the region that files new experiences, starts to shrink not just from time, but from decades of high blood sugar, unmanaged cortisol, and nutrient deficiencies. This might explain why you feel mentally foggy after a poor night's sleep, or why names seem to float just out of reach when you've skipped meals or relied on processed food. Memory loss isn't just a neurological event, it's metabolic. Brain cells need clean fuel, and when you've lived on convenience over nutrients, your neurons struggle to fire efficiently. What no one tells you is that the brain is greedy. It uses 20% of your energy, and when that energy is junk, your recall suffers. But here's something else no one says. Your brain is also forgiving. It can regenerate. Neuroplasticity, the ability to form new neural pathways, doesn't vanish with age. It just needs better conditions. Regular walking, especially outdoors, stimulates brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a compound that helps protect against memory loss. Lifting weights twice a week has been shown to slow brain shrinkage. And don't overlook what you feed your mind. Scrolling through chaos trains your attention span to shatter, while deep reading or learning something new rewires your focus. Most people never hear that loneliness is neurotoxic, that isolation triggers the same inflammatory markers as physical illness, silently draining your mental clarity. So if you've been blaming age, stop. Blame the culture that taught you to accept decline. Your brain is not done with you, but you have to fight for it. And the fight isn't about doing more, it's about choosing better. So ask yourself tonight, what are you feeding your brain, your body, your emotional life? And more importantly, what are you willing to change before more of yourself fades into a version you no longer recognize?